Hey guys, Omerko here, a self-taught web developer and finally we are finished up with components from Angular Material. Now from this point on we will work with the CDK which is Component Dev Kit. So in this video I will present to you what is CDK, how can we use CDK and also what is the difference between using Material Components and this CDK. Also did you know that only around 4% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. So if you are not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe as I am posting a new content weekly. Now into this video. So first of all, what is CDK? CDK stands for Component Dev Kit. It is a library for us developers that we can use and with it we can specify our own material components. So basically we can use behaviors, animations and much more from material components and customize those as we wish. So by using CDK from material, well specifically from Angular material, we will get access to these behaviors and also components. By now we already worked with components and you saw those uh, through many of the videos in this series. But by using components directly with CDK we will be able to get access to the default view of those components and style those as we wish. And also with the CDK we will get access to these behaviors, well the functionalities of those components. So we don't need to worry, for example, if you wish to implement some kind of stepper, we don't need to worry about the functionality of the stepper because material in the background, well this CDK will, uh, will take care of that for us. So let me show you this in an example. For example, if we use a table, which we already worked with in this series, but if we use a table from material, you will get some kind of, well, this design. This is default Google material design. It is not bad, obviously, but if we all use material, then all of the websites will look similar. So that is when the CDK comes in place. If we use a table directly from CDK, we will get some kind of default example of a table. This is just the HTML table that we will get from CDK with just a bit customization, well, a behavior of the table is already prepared for us. So by using a table this way, we are able to style it as we wish. So for example, that material table now can look totally different, well, can be its own table. So at this point we won't rely on a material design, we will just rely on behavior of that, of that table. So, as components from Angular Material and the CDK are a bit different to use, that is why in this series I will also work with everything that CDK has to offer to us. So, if you have any questions about it, be sure to ask those down below and I will surely answer you. Next to that, did you know that only around 4% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel? So, if you are not subscribed, be sure to subscribe as I am posting new content weekly. And finally, from the last video, we will start working with this CDK. So, thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.